Thank you. How's everybody doing? Doing great. Great. What is your first name, young lady? Oh, you snickered. I didn't know why you were snickering. Lisa. Lisa, will you come up and join me on stage? Oh, jeez. Oh, it won't be hard. Come on up. Give her a round of applause for helping me out. Right here, down there. Huh? Right here. How are you, Lisa? Lisa, right? Yeah. It's, it's easy. You get to even sit down. Yes. That was easy. Have a seat, Lisa, right over there. You're so excited? The phone's coming out. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. Just, wanted, just be, be aware of that. It happens. So what we're going to do is the two-coin illusion. Do you know why it's called the two-coin illusion? Because there's two coins. There are two coins. <laughs> She's pretty good, isn't she? So yes, there are two coins for the two-coin illusion. It's going to be pretty simple. But just remember, it's called... It's a two-coin illusion, I know. So what we're going to do is simple. you got to pay attention. You got, I know, you're just, are you nervous? I just, I just, no, I just went off. All right, don't go off okay. on me. Okay. Two coins in the hand, right? So if I reach in my hand, and I take one coin and put it in my pocket, how many coins are in my hand? One. One, right. She's an accountant. I am an accountant. You are an accountant, but <laughs> what, what happened there? There's two coins. Boy, they are stunned right now. <laughs> Not one person even thought about clapping. No, That's okay, did. though. What's up with that? I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> two, how many you coins? Away and there were still two. I know, right? How many coins? Two. Why? It's the two-coin illusion. That's right. You, you'll learn your lines. I forgot. I forgot. What happens sometimes is when I do this, it gets complicated because people are not used to seeing a giant copper coin. So yeah, I know, isn't that weird? So I know. So we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to do it with the silver coin. Is that okay? So if I reach in my pocket, I mean reach in my hand, take out one coin, put it in my pocket. How many coins in my hand? One. One. Two. Two. But why? It's okay. Go ahead. You can go with it. Silver coin illusion. It's a two coin illusion. Two you're, coins. you're getting good. <laughs> Did, am I losing you? Nope. All right. Maybe I'll, I'm going to do this one a little slower, a little differently. Maybe that will help you out, okay? Got it. How many coins in each hand? Two, one. <laughs> it's all right. You can work on it. One. One in each hand. Watch. Close my hand. Right? Put this in my pocket. Nothing there. How many coins in my hand? One. One. What is it called? Two coins. What is it called? Two-coin illusion. Why is it called a two-coin illusion? Because two What the fuck? Yeah, that's your line. I didn't say it. I know, right? You're shocked. Yes. How'd you get two coins? I'm not done yet. It's magic. How many coins? Two. In the hand, how many coins? Two. How many come out? One. All right, we're going to try this for the last time. How many coins in my hand? One. No, there's only one. You took one away. I know, but what is it called? Two coin illusion. But watch this. Give Lisa a round of applause. Thank you. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened either. I appreciate it. Oh, goodness gracious. How are you guys? You're doing great. Guess what? You're next. Come on up. Both, both of you. Both of you, like a couple thing. What's your first name? Hannah. Hannah and? Drake. Drake, come on. No. Oh, Drake. Just, just go for it, dude. Step right, Step right up there, man. Hannah and Drake. Yes, sir. Uh, Drake, stand on that side. We'll have Hannah stand on this side. Oh, and let's we'll scoot up a little bit here. Face the crowd. Come on a little closer. You're good. Doesn't it look interesting when you see something like that on my table? Yeah. Isn't that a little crazy? What's going on over here? I don't know what's going on. Do you want to tell them what? The, it's a card trick, but apparently that's not a regular deck of cards. No, this, this is not a normal deck of cards. This is not a normal deck of cards because this, this particular card has a pair of what? Pair of underwear to me. Pair of underwear to you. <laughs> so here's what happens. I don't know if you guys ever have this happening to you guys, but you'll be like maybe on YouTube or you'll be on some social media watching something and you see an ad. Let's say you're watching all football games and all of a sudden an ad comes on for like something that doesn't apply to you. It's weird, right? You're like, why do they advertise towards me? But we're going to have a little bit of fun here with you. 
In a second, I'm just going to ask you if you want to keep a card or get rid of it. Okay. There's no judgment here. Mm -hmm. So if you want to keep a card, you can keep it. Now, do you want to keep the panties or get rid of them? <laughs> it's okay. Oh. Well, you know. I, I, I feel like I want to get rid of the panties. You feel like you want to get rid of the panties. <laughs> All right. You sure? That card. Yep, that Ditch that card. That uh, matches. A random thing. Do you like matches? It, uh, sure. Sure. You don't seem sure of yourself. Oh, are you an, I, an I Android or an iPhone guy? I, iPhone. I'm, I'm going to keep the iPhone. You're going to keep the iPhone. Keep the iPhone. Oh, you want to tell me what's on this one? <laughs> handcuffs. Do you want to keep the handcuffs? No. No? No hand, matches? No handcuffs. All right. Lipstick. Lipstick. Do you want to keep the lipstick or get rid of the lipstick? You never know when you can use some lipstick. I'm, I'm going to keep the lipstick. I, I like, keep does he lipstick. have lipstick at home? No. <laughs> that you know of. Okay. A oh, snake. There's a snake. No. No snake. Well, she doesn't like snakes. Oh, it's a clown. No, 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 we're, no we're afraid of clowns. A, it's a rat. No. no, no, no rat for you. It's a hair, it's a hair, hair curling iron. I don't think I need that. Yeah. My, my hair's not, uh, I know. not long enough. Not me long. either. <laughs> oh, it's a tarantula. No. no, no tarantula for you. So far, you've kept one. That's okay. <laughs> toothbrush. Keeping the, Keeping the toothbrush. Oh, it's poker chips. Do you gamble? Do you like poker chips? Sure. You, sure. sure? We're keeping the poker chips. Yeah. Excellent. I like to roll the toilet paper. I like toilet paper. You like toilet paper too. <laughs> Toothbrush, toilet paper, we're on a roll. Oh, it's a little teddy bear. No. <laughs> wow, look at the face on that. Wow, he's like, what? I hope you didn't buy one for Christmas and now you're going to bring that shit back. Oh, man. Pizza. Throw it in there, we're keeping it. Boy, you are a definitive. Oh, a little beach bucket. You don't like the beach? No. This girl's card. Oh, it's an alligator. No. No alligator. A hatchet. You, but you thought about it for a minute. She's like, no. Oh, are you alcohol, wine? Gonna You're going to keep the wine. Boy, he likes a lot of things. Yeah. It's a nurse. Do you like nurses? Do you like being healthy? I don't know. It's just a card. Do you want, the sure, car? you want yeah. to keep that one? All right. It's a limo. I'm keeping the limo. You keep, well, he is good. Yeah, um, it's, do you want to tell him what this is? A cucumber. Do you want to keep the cucumber or discard the cucumber? <laughs> <laughs> Does she want? <laughs> He's like, oh, I remember that. Do you want to keep the cucumber? No. Nobody's looking at you. It's all right, all right. Oh, it's a little kitty cat. Uh, we're keeping the kitty cat. Keeping the kitty cat. Uh, we have an elephant. No. How long have you guys been together? Elephant's your favorite animal. Elephant's your favorite animal. He said it. Huh? What am I going to do with it? It's just a car. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. We have a firefighter. I love firefighters. Yeah. Throw it in there. <laughs> hey, you're learning a lot about it right now. Oh, we have a ball. Do you like balls? <laughs> we had a cucumber. You said no. Do you want the ball? Yeah. You want the ball. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh. You guys are great. <laughs> What's really weird about this is this was already predetermined before you guys even got out here, that they know what's going to happen when you see these things. You know I can keep the fire party? Yes, because what happens is all these cards are blue. All your cards, including the matches, are pink. Wow. Give them, that's pretty crazy. Give them a round of applause. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Give them a round of applause. Thank you so much. Excellent, excellent. Well, that was good. Oh, how are you? What's your first name? Gary Kate. What? Gary Kate. And you have two first names. Yeah, my mom. Yeah. It's your mom. Okay, I, you didn't pick it, right? She was a nurse. My she was a nurse? Yeah. EKG? Yeah. She's really dedicated to the... Will you come up and give me a hand? Sure. Yeah. sure. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to break up a, a happy thing here. Oh, so what's your first name? Kate? Aaron Kate. Aaron Kate. Yep. You got to say both. Uh, no, don't. I don't have to say both. <laughs> okay. Um, can you guess what we're going to do next? Okay. Take a guess. Play cards. Bomb in half. You're going to hide something. Boy, you, you, you know, the more, normally people would say a card trick, but uh -huh. we're not doing a card trick. This will be important later on. Okay. Now, there's two kinds of people in this world. Question is, which 
how the Jew, are, look at the face. I didn't even ask the question. Do you get asked a lot of tough questions normally? I do. You do, okay. Um, here's the question. Sometimes when people go to a hotel and they get a room key, mm -hmm. some people give them back. Some people, he keeps them, you give them back. So you're the giver back person. Okay. That's what you are. You're a giver back. You bring it back to the person. Yeah. You don't want to keep it as a souvenir. Yeah. On the other hand, I keep room keys as souvenirs. Okay. So I want to be really clear with what's about to happen. It, you're going to pick one envelope. Okay. The envelope you pick is going to be the one that we're going to go with. That means no funny business, nothing weird is going to happen. You just pick a card. I mean, pick an envelope. That's your envelope. Which color would you like? Okay, you want to do it that way? Yeah, yeah. Okay, go, go ahead. You want that one? Okay. The black one is yours. Okay. These ones you did not keep. Do you want to see where you didn't pick? Let's see. Because I'm curious. This one is the Waverly Hotel London. Have you ever been to London? Yeah. You have. You've been to the Waverly? That would have been convenient. Yeah. We have a green one. And the green one is... Prague. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been to Prague either. We have the Overlook Hotel. Have you been there? Yeah. It's a really glimmering place, really shining. Not one person got that joke. <laughs> you got that joke? It's a, it's a movie called The Shining. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm, you got to get it now. Uh, let's see what we got here. We have the Amsterdam. You've been, Amsterdam's quite a crazy place. No. You want to go to Amsterdam? I did. He, he didn't? Wow, I'm sorry. Apparently she wanted to go. You could have kept the room key card from that one. Oh, uh, we have Paris. I've been to Paris. You've been to Paris. And, oh, I know this one. I go to this place a lot. This is Park Central Hotel in New York. Okay. But you didn't pick that. You picked the black envelope. Mm -hmm. Would you hold this? Sure. Would you, as I open this, you open that, on, that card box. Okay. And, and, go ahead, open it up. Inside is a key. Okay. What is your key say on it? Caesar's, Caesar's Palace. And what does mine say? Something. Caesar's Palace. Oh. Yeah. Give her a round of applause. Oh, thank you. Give her a round of applause. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, you can play the last song for me. Oh, I need two more people. This is fun. Oh. Will you two come up and give me a hand? She was looking away. I got her picked out. Come on up. First names. Diane. Diane, how are you? Diane, come on over here. And Eric. Eric, he's got a Harley. Step right up here. I'll give you the guidebook. Have you ever read The Godfather, seen the movie? Yeah. Know it? Yeah. Can you quote anything? No. Okay, you don't have to. I'll get it right here. What? Well, you, you wanted your moment. I was going to give it to you. <laughs> how are you doing? Grab that book. This is The Gangs of New York. I go to New York a lot, and these are two books that are kind of about New York. So uh, will you give me a hand? Come on over here. What I'm going to have you do is you're all, you just hang out. You're going to read that. Study it. Now, all you need to do is tell me when to stop at any page. You ready? Right there. You want to? You got it? You saw the first word on the page. Are you thinking about it? Maybe you were. Did you see it? Yeah, I did. You did? Is it the word boy? Oh, basement. It's not attic or basement. No. Did you look at, look at the first word on the page? Okay. You got one? Right, right here? You get the first word on the page. The first word on the, yes, the first word on the page. You got it? You sure? You know what? This time, are you going to get it right? <laughs> oh, is that the word on the... Yes! Oh, he's pretty good. It's all right. Hold this book. Come here, come here, come here. Um, open the book to any page. No, no, she's going to open the book to any page. Any page, go ahead. No, no, I'm going to look with you. That's okay. okay. What, what page numbers are we on? Pick one of these two. What do you like? Um, 285. 285. You are going to go to page 285 in your book. Well, don't get crazy. 285, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me when you're on the page. Yep. Go to the first words on, on 285. Oh, 
You don't want to say it. I'm going to say it. You, you wouldn't betray me, would you? Unbelievable. Give them a round of applause for helping me out. Unbelievable. Oh, it's all right. I get a hug. I like that. That's, we like that. Oh, huh? It's your birthday? Oh, I won't announce that until later. One last little quick thing we're going to do. I'm going to hand you the book. Now, listen carefully. I'm going to hand you the book. You're going to open the book to any page. You're going to look at the last word on the page. That's it. That's all you got to do. Last word on the page. And if I've already picked you, don't be offended. Um, last word on the page. Open the book. Just look at the last word of any page. Any page, just look at the last word. You got one? Yeah. Okay. I'm coming back because you're right here. Last word, any page. Got one? Yep. You're thinking about it, too. She's concentrating. I like that. Good. Last word, any page. Excellent. Let's do two more people. Uh, will you be able to see it? Yes? Good. We have glasses. I want to make sure you can read. Last word on any page. You got one? Hi, young lady. Can you see good? with any glasses? I got them here if you need it. Uh, they're passing the book off. Last word, any page. You got one? Last word. If I picked you, I'm going to ask you all to stand up. If you picked a word, you're going to stand up for me. Now, a lot of magicians, when they do things like this, they do it with cards, they do it with things. They just call out words. They're like, bum, 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 bum. I want to do this a little differently because I literally go to New York way too much. I want you to think of those words, and I want to relate to the words that you're thinking. Just close your eyes. Think about those words. And I'm going to use them in a sentence. I'm going to relate to it. And you're going to know when I say your words. When I go to the city, I literally end up leaving at midnight. I have a couple friends. They don't want to go with me at all because they don't want to go to the city. When I leave, the last thing I need to do is pay for parking, which costs me a lot of money. I literally have a press pass for the city of New York, and I end up interacting with the police a lot. The police. This last one's a little weird. Oh, the song it just played is by Billy Joel. It's called New York State of Mind. He's known as the Piano Man. If you heard your word, have a seat. Thank you so much. We're going to bring Jim back out. Have a great night.